Okay, change of location for this video. Today I want to talk about some tips that I have for becoming successful on YouTube. Why is the camera like this? That I haven't heard anyone else say before. Because one thing I want to avoid is repeating what everyone else has said before. Um, now I know I'm not the biggest YouTube expert because I don't have a million subscribers. Oh, that's good. That's a good shot. Um, but I think I'm a little qualified because my brother and I have created animations with 53 million views, so I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. So again, these tips I don't think anyone else has said before, which is why I want to say them. So there's three. The first one is stop caring about yourself. So that might not make sense, but... <sighs> okay, so here's where I'm coming from. Every high school has a class clown, right? And usually the class clown is one of the most popular kids because they get everyone to laugh. Right? Um, so you might think that, like, if you record a video of the class clown doing something silly, like dancing on the desk, like, everyone's laughing so hard, they're all gonna think that that, that video is going viral. Um, but, oh, okay, I got a notification, uh, ignore. Um, but if you upload that online, I don't think it'll go viral. And why is that? That's because no one outside of your high school circle knows who this class clown, <coughs> not dabbing, class clown is. So the only reason the video is funny is because you know who this person is and know their background, their history, their quirks, and the context for why that joke is so funny. Um, so when you're making a video and you're analyzing it, you're proof reading it, you're proof watching it, and you, you're trying to figure out if it's good enough to go viral, try to take your own personal experiences out of the experience. Try to imagine you're viewing as a complete stranger of the video and think, would I still care about this video if I weren't the one watching it? So if, let's say you're really proud of getting an A on the test and like it's the best day of your life. You record a video of you talking about it. To you alone, it matters a lot, but to all the other strangers out there, it doesn't matter. So that video is not gonna go viral. Um, but uh, I guess, I don't know, like, I, I'm just saying this because a lot of the projects that I have done that have gone viral, I'm using this term viral a lot, and I hate that word, so I'm sorry, but like, Scale of the Universe has like 100 million hits on htwins.net, that's not YouTube, but I think it's relevant, that has none of my actual face or voice or like anything in it, it's just purely content. Um, the Abacaba name bubble video or the view graph video, neither of those have my personality in it at all and those did really well and I think that's because when a stranger watches it it's the same experience as when I'm watching it so I guess what I'm saying is in a certain way it's helpful to prioritize content over personality and I've heard a lot of other youtubers say no in the end your audience comes for your personality and you have to always stay stay true to yourself let your audience know who you are but I'm going against that because I think if you go with the traditional um, method of showing your personality, it's hit or miss, because there will be some vloggers out there who um, capitalize really well on their personality, but you don't see the thousands of copycats that fail in that way. So, but if you have good content, it's a lot more reliable at least, as long as the content is good. So that's why I say stop caring about yourself, take your personality out of it, and try to analyze it as a nondescript commoner who doesn't know anything about you. <coughs> I guess, I don't know if that's really useful, because like when you're watching a video, um, how would you edit it to make it less personality-based? Um, I guess just make sure it has, I, I said this over and over again, value to the general public, not just your little friend group. Um, and if, if you think it really is funny, imagine you're watching that same video but replace all your friends with strangers and is it still funny? If it is, then yeah, it's a good video. <sighs> I think I repeated myself too much, but that's okay. Because longer videos means more watch time. Okay, second tip is, um, I can't remember. Oh, don't advertise yourself. Okay, so all these tips are like the opposite of what you hear most other people say. Most other people will say like when you're first getting started, you, like it's very hard to build up traction and you it's kind of a necessary evil to advertise yourself in the comments of other popular videos or I don't know like on Facebook or Twitter or Reddit or whatever <coughs> oh. 
but I think there's one thing about the internet, and that it, that's that it hates tryhards. The people who win on the internet are the ones who are cool, reserved, and can kind of like present themselves as winning the argument without trying. And um, it's like it makes you seem so uh, smooth and like powerful when you just like sit back in your chair and like you you still dominate the game. So I would say like. The reason why I think this is still effective to not advertise your channel is because the thing that separates a popular channel from a not popular one is like millions of views. And I think advertisements, at least self-made advertisements, will only make the difference of like 10 or 20 extra views to your channel. So the real difference that gets you from the bottom to the top is like one, hijacking the YouTube suggested videos algorithm. And two, I guess knowing other people, having uh, backdoor connections with famous YouTubers. Now the second one is not possible for some people. But what I'm saying is like most of the people who actually are successful on YouTube probably just really clicked into the YouTube algorithm really well and would have succeeded just as well without trying to market themselves to strangers. Because <coughs> I can tell it would definitely be cringy to um, like look up PewDiePie's old comments and like from 2010 and find out that they're all um, begging people to watch his videos. Uh, but I, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I know this is hard because it's like if you have like 10 subscribers, what are you going to do to grow views? I'm just thinking like for me, Battle for Dream Island um, started in January 2010 and after two whole years of episodes, no episode had even passed 100,000 views. Um, and then like years later, like in 2013, things start to really pick up. And once they pick up, like you don't need to put in any extra effort to keep the ball rolling. Oh, this doesn't sound right, but it's kind of true. It's like getting the ball rolling uh, takes something different than advertising. And I don't know what that is, but I don't think like constant spam on other people's channels will make the difference between success and failure. So yeah, I don't know. And then the third tip, what was it? Oh, make content that lasts. So I think I was really lucky that, or Michael and I were lucky that we created a kids show animation series because kids will watch episodes over and over again. And even the videos that are seven years old are still getting about as many views as they were at the peak of their popularity. So if you make it like a video related to news, like a news event or a popular trend like fidget spinners, as soon as that fad dies, that video will not get any more views ever again. Um, so you want to do stuff that's timeless and that like kids many generations in the future could still enjoy in some way. And I think uh, to put my own personal story into this, um, I really don't want to brag so uh, I think this is relevant to say uh, like a lot of people uh, will ask me like how did you get so much done in your childhood like I guess they somehow discovered that I made Battle for Jim Island, Scale of the Universe, the Evolution Simulators, the Neural Networks, and the Abacava Name Bubble video and it seems like I do a lot but I'm gonna be honest like I'm very bad at being productive and like on a single day if you look at like how much work I get done, I'm, I'm so lazy. Like I maybe work two hours a day if there's no other motivation getting me to do it. Uh, I think the only reason that it seems like I've got so much done is that the stuff that I did six years ago is still relevant now. Like if you look at someone who I guess hasn't got as much stuff done, if you look back to their lifetime six years ago, they were still as busy as me, if not more busy. It's just that the work they were doing Maybe it was like homework assignments, um, essays, or like practicing for their football team. And all these things are valuable work that will better their lives in the future. But these things we don't care about now, six years later. Like nobody's gonna go back in time and look at your homework assignment from six years ago and think you achieved much. Okay, that sounded bad. But I think you get my point. I think it's important for people if they want to like have a long list of achievements every time they embark on achievement, make sure that people will still care about it just as much in 10 years as now. Um, 
because then your list of achievements will just constantly build up fuller and fuller instead of like recycling um because if you do like the really flash in the pan trendy stuff then uh videos will kind of like cycle out of the list as soon as they're cycling in and it never gets longer and longer uh so i think that that all makes sense doesn't it oh wow i've been talking for 10 minutes in a public area but those are my tips do you like the mirrors in the background they're pretty cool yeah whoa um okay yeah <laughs> i mean what do i know about youtube right like the algorithm keeps switching and my video views they, they go up and down so i don't know exactly what's going on but since i've been here for almost 10 years now i think those i've picked up a little bit of knowledge and those are my pearls of wisdom ew i hate that term but yeah this video is long enough so goodbye oh and also i have like adidas clothes because I mean, I might be in a dance group and they want everyone to wear like black athletic pants. So I got that. But enough about vlogging. This, that wasn't the point of this video. I just can't end it. Okay, enough dragging on. Bye.